Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett, and the verse I want to share with you today is in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. Uh, the verse is leading up to this, and verse 7, it talks about our love for the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, folks. And that is the principal thing to obtaining wisdom. Why do I say that? Because if you love the Lord, you're going to spend time with him in his word, and you're going to send, uh, spend time with him in prayer. Verse 9, it talks about how we can carry it with us like a ornament around your neck, a necklace, you know, because it's with you no matter where you go to help you navigate when you're out in the world today. So verse 10, it says, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. First of all, what I want to tell you about this word sinners is we're all sinners, folks. So when it says sinners here, it's talking about a habitual sinner. It's talking about somebody who does not care. Uh, it's talking about somebody who does not believe in God. They have no morals uh, and they're, and what did it say? They entice people that are trying to do right and trying to follow God and have a relationship with him. Why? Because Satan uses them to do so. But you know, the thing about it is, I don't care what anybody says, even if the laws were not committed down to you, folks, God has given us the God-given sense to know right from wrong. But if you got that wisdom around your neck, in other words, and it's in your mind, you carry it everywhere you go. It says, when they try to entice thee, consent thou not. I mean, if somebody tries to get you to smoke dope and you don't want to smoke dope and you know what's wrong, consent thou not. Quit hanging around them. You're hanging around somebody that shoplifts, folks, and they're trying to get you to do it. Oh, ain't nobody going to know about it. That's the devil, folks. Consent thou not. Maybe you've been out partying too much one night. You've had too much to drink and they want you to get up behind the wheel of a car to go to a different place to party a little bit more. Consent thou not, folks. I mean, you've got that alarm that goes off in your head when you've got wisdom around your neck and in your mind that when you're about to get yourself in trouble, that alarm goes off and says, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's going to get you in trouble. And that's the way it works when you've got a relationship with God. Hey, can I get an amen? Amen. Folks, if this is edified you today, hit your share button. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death today for the word of God. I'm doing something new now. I want you to know that me and my wife will be going on the road. Uh, if, you, if you're already a member of a church or go to a church and you would like for us to come into your area and to preach at your church or teach or minister, hey, let us know, folks. We're willing to get out on the road. We're going to take this on the road and go out and spread God's word. Hey, uh, me and my wife love you guys so very much. Uh, we love you and your families, and we are praying for you and your families each and every day. Hey, God bless you, and thank you so much for spending this time with me in the holy word of God.